Hello and welcome to EBA Day TV and today I'm speaking to David Giampini of IBM. Um, so, you know, transaction banks have gone through a fair amount of uh, consolidation and centralization over the past few years. What, what role do uh, business analytics play in, in this type of restructuring? Well, Liz, the, the point is that payment data and transaction banking data has now become a critical success point for, for banks. I think regulation brought to the, the banks to understand that they can use the data that they are actually analyzing for regulation in a much better way. Also to increase the quality of services they can bring to corporates and also to, to better analyze their own behavior and their own uh, efficiency. So a relationship manager definitely can use the data to better understand the behavior of the customer, not just in the relationship with them, so how they send payment to banks, how they send transaction to bank, but also how they need help from banks. So understanding which is the moment of the month or the moment of the season where they need more money based on their value chain. Uh, understanding <coughs> how banks can provide a bundling of products, not just pure payments, so provide a customized service to corporate banks, to corporate customers. Uh, I think it's important also to allow relationship manager to have the, the ownership, the data, and the capability also to do some scenario analysis. So in a way they are in front of their customer and they take they can evaluate different alternatives and knowing immediately what is the result from a financial point of view of the different alternatives. So in reality, it's like to bring to transaction banking something that banks are doing with their commercial customer for years. You know, business intelligence, CRM, these kind of words are basically already a given for the, for the other part of bank. Uh, transaction banking is probably a little bit late in the game, is catching up. Uh, probably they understand that the revenue is important. Cost cannot be the only leverage to, 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 to increase profitability. So you need more revenue, more high value revenue. And that's where the data can help uh, uh, the bank to provide these kind of services to their corporate customers. What about a, a technical solution? You know, what, what role do sort of uh, uh, cloud-based computing and uh, utility-based models um, play in supporting uh, this uh, centralization? Okay, cloud computing is really a way to deliver computing capabilities, computing power, but it's also a way to, to, to change the, the business models. So it uh, enables a lot of uh, new ideas, a new way to provide the same services that uh, banks are providing now, but also come up with new services, new ways. So for sure, and we are in, a, in an event that has collaboration as one of the key words to, together with innovation. And I would say that shares utility-based model, uh, cooperation, cloud, uh, software as a service are definitely the future for this business. Uh, the area of collaboration are very large in transaction banking. First because nobody can really do everything and also because there are a lot of non-differentiating tasks in transaction banking. So to answer to your question, new services could be you know, centralization of regulation activity like embargo checking or uh, uh, FATCA, you know, FATCA will be a nightmare for many banks. Uh, more on the corporate side, you know, there are a lot of services that are not really making any difference if it's done by one bank or by a, a centralized service bureau or by a centralized alliance between banks. Uh, like, again, you know, check of BBAN, IBAN, or uh, validation, uh, format transformation, this kind of thing. Of course, uh, cloud is also a very good way for a specific bank to be uh, more agile and more reactive and providing a better time to market because they have, uh, let's say, outsourced the cost of the, the run of the bank and they can concentrate their, their budget 
or most of their budget in the innovation, in coming up with new services and new ideas for their customers. So it's it's enabler of cooperation but also innovation because allows to concentrate the innovation on new stuff and budgeting new stuff instead of running the bank. That was an interesting point you made about um, using cloud computing to comply with uh, a U.S. regulation of uh, FATCA. I've been hearing a few uh, levels of anxiety from European banks about how, how they should deal with that that regulation. So, but sort of bringing it back to uh, corporate clients, you know, what are what are they demanding um, from banks? Are they looking for specific payment services or are they just really looking for a more efficient um, and seamless uh, customer experience? I would say that from what we know and also being a corporate, you know, we are a big corporate for many banks as IBM. I think there are three different type of needs that corporate still has against uh, versus the banks. One is definitely efficiency and cost. Uh, but I would say that this is almost a given, you know. They really do not judge a bank pure on efficiency. Efficiency has to be a, the starting point. Uh, there are two additional areas where I see a lot of interest from the banks. It is definitely a more customized pricing and product bundling in a way that Banks can go to corporate and say, okay, you have all this payment with me. I'm lending this money to you in another part of the bank. Uh, you know, putting together offering that leverage the, the complexity of the relationship between the corporate and the bank and providing the bank the idea and the sensation and the feeling that the bank is really thinking about this corporate, this specific corporate, that a specific customer. So providing specific solution. But I would say that in the future, the critical word is not one word, but the critical sentence is uh, supply chain financial. Uh, liquidity is the problem of everybody. And corporate are not different from bank. They need liquidity. They don't have enough liquidity. So for sure, a bank can provide help providing liquidity dashboards to their corporates. They know a lot about the liquidity of their corporate because they're making the payments for those corporates. So they definitely can provide dashboard or liquidity, but they also should be able in the future to forecast and to anticipate the need of liquidity of their customers. They should know that the customer has a, a cycle in their uh, value chain. They have to pay a supplier and they wait money from the, from the customer and there are normally not balanced situation between the moment in which they have to pay the supplier and the moment in which they get the money from the customer. So the bank should be uh, you know, reactive and, pro and proactive enough to say, okay, I can provide you the best service providing you the liquidity with the right uh, interest rate at the right at the right moment because that's the way the bank can be seen by the corporate as a real partner, a partner that follows his business, their business in a specific way. So uh, pricing is important, uh, bundling product is important, but intimacy between the bank and the corporate and the bank knowing exactly what the corporate is doing, why they need money in the beginning of the month or in the beginning of the season, why they have a problem in certain period of the year, why they send in payment on Friday instead of Thursday. So these kind of things are differentiating services judged by the corporate. Corporate will not move just for pricing reason. They will choose, of course, the, the, the best price if that's the only way to, to judge between banks. But I, I'm pretty sure that in the future the, the, the battle will be not pure on pricing or pure on price, on efficiency, but will be on quality of services. That's the only way you can get the money from the corporate, providing them something that they can really give value to.